I, um, I'm from company today, Steve, because we've been out most of the day, went out early this morning, and um, got on a bus in the town. Uh, there's nowhere to park at all down there, Steve. If you go in one of the car parks, yes, they got room. I need somewhere about six, six, six quid for a couple of hours, two or three hours, you know. And we didn't know how long we'd be in there, so um, um, that's why we took the bus, but... Um, it's, a, it's an experience now, getting on buses, and, uh, you know, it's uh, strange, really, but I would say, okay, it's, uh, it's got standard in 20 minutes down to the centre, so it wasn't bad, and uh, we walked down along Anchor Road down to the, um, the place there, and uh, it's part of the old, um, it's part of the, the old, it's, uh, the old building is actually, um, uh, so um, that's where it was all happening. They got a, a restaurant there. You can go at night times. Anybody can go there. You know, if you like a la carte, <laughs> which uh, I don't really. And uh, that's very pretty and all that, but there's never uh, enough of it. And, uh, you know, other than that, it's, uh, it's quite nice meeting all these people that were there. And uh, it's quite enjoyable afternoon. It's something different anyway, Steve, so that was okay. And, um, um, what's name was on this morning, Tony, uh, he was on earlier tonight, actually, he was on BS, chatting with Phil, and uh, he's not too bad now, but he's, he's suffering from gout as well, which don't help. <laughs> yeah, rich man's complete. MS, M6 SST, G3 XCD. I said, well, when can I, can I still use it? 
so she said, no, he's gone past the fortnight, and he go a fortnight afterwards, Steve. And um, she said, oh, so I can't display that. She said, no, not now. I said, how long do you reckon uh, I'm going to be there? She said, we're still working on February. People ran out in February. I said, oh, right. And I said, what does that mean then? She said, there'll be at least another month. So I said, oh, God, it will be. But she's taking Chris up backwards and already off, but she'll probably get them all in the morning. And, uh, you know, it's a nightmare to get anywhere to park up there. But uh, I'll have to wait and see. Uh, what I just have to do is drop her off. But she's getting so, um, insecure now. She, I don't think she can cross her cross on her own nowadays. So stupid, I know, but, uh, she ain't got a confidence. She's lost her confidence. That's the trouble, Steve. So, um, I'm going to have to put her straight outside the place. If I order traffic up, I order it up. Get her out of the car. Uh, it's a lot of money. I'm going to have to drive around the block a few times. Probably only be in there half an hour or something like that. It depends on what they're going to do. And then uh, I can pick her up again and bring her home. So, hope you don't play half past ten. But the running uses is five, and that thing, uh, Steve, you'll be like, oh, <laughs> oh like, you know, um, useful they are until you haven't got it. But, um, anyway, nothing I can do about it. Just got to wait, Steve. Find you from G3XED. Hello, Steve. Hello, Um, I settled for a job in um, in Bridgewater, uh, 
um, I've got a new mat which is similar to the um, the caravan brand I use, exactly the same. And I got a um, I got a 90 amp hours one fitted for um, 83 pounds, which I thought was very good. The best I could get on the internet was 78 quid with free delivery. Would have would have meant me um, um, fitting it and then taking the other one down to Bridgewater um, for disposal. So. Um, I thought, well, I might as well let them fit it, and they can dispose of it, and I'm only paying a few pound more, what, just over a five or more, for them to do it. So that's what we did. So um, I had to organise um, uh, an order, really. They didn't have one in stock because it's so big. And um, I went back two days later, and they fitted it. But um, the truck's a lot better now. You can tell it as soon as you start it, it wants to start. It's not struggling, you know. So um, that's the camera. It's been like that for a while. Almost a replica of what Karen had with her master. So um, I'm a bit happier now that's done. Anyway, so I'm going to say uh, 73 for myself. I've been on here a couple of hours. The throat's drying up, and I'm going to find something on TV um, to watch, or maybe something on the planner. As always, a joy to work you my mate. And uh, we will um, talk again, no doubt. Give my love to the girls, and um, I'll speak to you again, maybe tomorrow evening if you're around. Uh, Mike Six, yes, sir, Tango. Uh, go and cheer now on DB3WE with uh, G3XCD. Over to you, Cyril. Yeah, okay, Steve. Yeah, uh, I'll um, probably give a ring tomorrow or something, and uh, chat about a few things. Anyway, look after yourself, mate, and go and see the, the quack and get that sorted out. Um, you can't do anything, you can probably do some painkillers that, you know, at least cure the pain, Steve. And you can't be afford to be sick with eight dogs. And, uh, you know, um, I think the quicker you get down there, Steve, when is it there or there? Is it Tuesdays or is it Thursdays or local of one? Anyway, go and see what I can do, Steve. And I'll speak to you tomorrow sometime, either on the radio or on the... On the um, Twisted pair, okay? All the best, Steve, from G3XED.